as a driver, at least me, you can give in a lot more in the beginning of the championship because you don't want to mess it. What you want to do is finish races. I'd much rather finish the race in fifth than try really hard to stay in fourth and end up crashing two laps to go. I, I, my end goal is always to, to win a championship at the end of the year. So I don't focus as much on winning a single race. And for me, it's much more important to win the championship. So whenever I am nowadays in a, in a difficult or dangerous situation, I always think twice if I go for the pass or I just take the points. Most of the time, I just take the points uh, to win the championship in the end. How do I decide, am I going to race this guy hard, easy? Do I have to be careful? Can I stick my nose in there? I know he's going to give me the space. He's not going to give me the space. So that really comes to awareness. It's different whenever it's for a win. Um, it's different if it's at the end of the championship and you are fighting for the championship. You know, whenever you're fighting for the championship, you risk it all. I mean, you go into every either overtake or defend and this guy is not getting by me. But you also can't just like deliberately hit them off because that's just, it's not, that's not fair. Fight for the championship, for example, you take a little bit less risk because you have to be a bit careful. If you fight for P10, sometimes you go for more risk. Everybody has to go through that process. Everybody has to learn the hard way. And um, there is no, no route to say, okay, you have to be aggressive in that situation or in that situation. The most important is you have to make your own experiences. Just over the years, you kind of get to understand, you know, what it takes to to be fast and maybe understand yourself to be more consistent and where you knew you were quick enough and you knew you could win races, but to put a championship together is, is always hard. You can't win a race in a start, but you can definitely make your life a lot easier the rest of the race if you have a good start and you're sort of in the front. If you go backwards in a start, or you stay where you're at and if you started like 12th or so it's going to be a lot harder for you to make up ground in 12th than if you made up a few positions and have some clean air you know somewhat during the race you start on pole you start the race you see your car is super oversteer or whatever and if you stay calm and you try and overcome that instead of finishing last or let's say out of the points you can maybe salvage a decent result that day and and I've come to learn that's how you, you, you win championships. You know, if I start last and I finish third, I'm going to be so happy because, you know, it's obviously a, a good result. But if I start first and finish third on the same day, I'm going to be very angry. So, and that's perspective. So you just have to look at the bigger picture and not only at what's happening on that day. Be smart about situations. And don't be too like, oh, no, I need to pass. I need to, I need to make my way through the field. It's like, no, man, just ch chill out. Like if, if you have the chance, do it. But if you don't, learn how to not get too greedy whenever you just, you don't have the pace or you just, it's just not your race. A new driver sort of earns their spot, especially from guys that have been there for a while. When you earn their respect, and they see you as a competitor now, not just a rookie that's going to be in the back of the field. I feel like that's where you earn your spot. I think the best, the best race drivers we see nowadays, they have a given talent, plus they, they, they work hard. Some drivers are, are naturally gifted, uh, just very raw. No matter how talented you are, I think you, you, know, you always have to work at it. You look at all the greats that you see with Lewis Hamilton and Schumacher and all these guys. You know, they work really hard. Practice does make you a lot better. You know, you, you will get pretty close to the great drivers. But I feel like just people that are born with it just have that extra edge. You just need to have the confidence. You just need to, to trust yourself that one day you will be able to, to match those lap times.